everyone. My name is Renee Lloyd and I am the lay member to the North Georgia Annual Conference. Rather than its typical in-person four-day meeting in June in Athens, the conference met virtually on Saturday, August 29th to vote on essential business. Delegates, both lay and clergy, were able to speak, make motions, and to vote in real time. The theme of this year's conference was one ministry to all the world. Bishop Sue Hopper Johnson presided over the meeting. She began the meeting by reading from John chapter 21, verses 1 through 14, wherein the disciples had returned to fishing after Jesus' death. Bishop Sue challenged us not to pine for a return to the old, but rather to sit in the unfamiliar, to spend time in prayer, especially in groups, to cast a wide net, not to cloister ourselves, but to be transformative in the world. She also specifically charged us during this difficult time, particularly this election season, to pray Isaiah 58 every day, assuring us God hears the cries of his people. She pleaded for us to speak out for the poor and those who are hurting, inasmuch as God will respond and pour out all the power of heaven to save his people. Bishop Sue closed with prayer, quoting Corrie Tin Boom, as often quoted during this season by Pastor Steve, never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Prior to the session, the clergy executive session met and elected 12 provisional elders, including our very own Reverend Robin Parr, of whom we are very proud and for whom we are very grateful, as well as three deacons in full connection and five elders in full connection. Another major item of business was the vote to streamline the districts in the conference to allow for more funding to churches and to provide uniformity. The vote was approved, condensing the existing 12 districts to eight, which will follow county lines and balance the population and the number of churches. This new structure will save the conference an estimated $1 million annually. DUMC is now part of the Northeast District, along with all the other United Methodist churches in Lumpkin, Dawson, Habersham, Hall, Hart, Forsyth, Franklin, Jackson, Madison, Raven, Stevens, Towns, Union, and White Counties. Moreover, the 2021 proposed budget of $16.98 million was approved, reflecting a decrease of 19.1% or $4 million from last year. The conference also approved sending the same lay and clergy delegates previously elected for the 2020 General Conference, which was, which was postponed, to the rescheduled General Conference now set to be held in Minneapolis on August 29th through September 7th of 2021. The next annual conference was set for June 3rd through 5th of 2021, hopefully back in Athens Classic Center. In closing, conference lay leader Bill Martin remarked that we have left our church buildings and discovered in the process that the church is so much more than a building. COVID-19 has not canceled ministry and much of the remainder of the meeting celebrated the good work that is being done in this conference. Given these last six months worshiping online in cars, parks and pavilions, I think we can all agree that our church is so much more than a building and that our church staff is already answering Bishop Sue's charge to be transformative and to reach out. Her charge was not just to our church staff, however, it is for all of us. I can't help but be reminded of a song sung every year in Gospel Jam during Bear on the Square. The song is sung by Neil Pender and it's called, I'm Working on a Building. I will spare you my singing, but I was able to find a clip of it that I would like to share with you. It's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord.
not the building on Park Street, but us that are Holy Ghost buildings. For our Lord, for our Lord. In grace and peace and all glory to God. Amen.